You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, Gene. Buzz Studios in Los Angeles, California, presented by Maria Menunos and Bing.com, and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies. This is AfterBuzz TV's The Rachel Zoe Project After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's AfterBuzz TV's The Rachel Zoe Project After go! Show. I can't breathe for the first time I'm so moving on Yeah, yeah Thanks to you Now and then I can't get out of the way Woo! Okay, hit that note Hit that note Hit that note Hey you guys, welcome to the series, season, season, season. finale of the Rachel Zoe Project Thank you so much it's season five, episode eight, Zoe Couture, styling the stylist. And just a little shout out um, to another lovely lady that I know Jason's really excited about. And if we don't say happy birthday to her, happy he might birthday, be upset. Kelly Clarkson. Okay, that's it. Woo! Kelly Clarkson, come back into our lives. I, I can't, can't breathe for the, the first time. time. I'm so moving on. Yeah. Oh, Thanks, yeah. guys. Do you really want that to be the first thing that the people who tune in listen to? Yes. They hear it weekly. They love it. They yeah. keep All coming right. back. For this more. is late night at the Afterbus Studio, and Bing is for doing, and we're here doing another after show for the Rachel Zoe Project. Thank you, Stephen. It's the it's the season finale, and I mean, I think they ended it on an amazing note, don't you? Yes. 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 I'm your host, Christina Zias, along with some sexy fellow hosts. I'm Jake Dupree. I'm Tiana Hopson. <laughs> I'm Jason Eichler. <laughs> and this is the after show for the Rachel Zoe Project. Since you've been gone. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> As you guys know, we also like to sing here too, so if you're listening, feel free to give us a call and um, sing, sing along. Sing sing along. We would vote, love that. Vote for us next season of American Idol. Yes. Um, Thanks. We're gonna wear sequins there as well. <laughs> oh my gosh. I feel like this was a really nice, nice season finale. And like very clear cut and we get to see Rachel in all of her hats. Like her styling hat, her designing hat. Mommy her hat. Mommy her hat. mommy hat, which is so cute. Well, that's my favorite hat that she wears now. Me too. Mommy hat. Mommy hat. Mostly agree. because I get to see Sky Sky. <laughs> and he's just so cute. I feel like at least a very good chunk of this episode, probably a third of it, was all dedicated to Skylar, don't you think? Yeah, I think, I think it, it the best. should have been. Yeah. And it's probably the best part of yeah. it as well, right? And I know that we talked about this while we were reviewing it, too. Sky Sky needs his own reality show. Yes. Um, we came up with a name for it, too. Toddlers and Couture. Toddlers yes. and Couture. It's yes. going to feature, yes. like, the best moms in Hollywood and their Resort. fashionable tops. Or, like, like yes. maybe, like, flying high in the sky. Oh. Maybe, like, oh. yeah. We'll save that one for when he's, like, a teenager. But he's, for, like, a stoner. When he yeah. Drugs. And, and wearing his, like, Grateful Dead shirts. <laughs> Such, thanks, such thanks such Dad. <laughs> so in the first part of this episode, Rachel's having another book, and it's all about her cover. Life. And in... The past episodes, we saw that Rachel doesn't like to be in the limelight, so here she is again. Do we believe that? No. Okay, I was going to say, she, she, po- she knows show. how to pose well. No, Damn, she, yeah. girl. When she drops a, that chin and looks those eyes, I'm like, you She's know like, you like to be mm-hmm. in the camera. I hate the camera. Watch this. Watch <laughs> me. Boom. Tyra, who? She's really, I know. Hand on hip. Mm. She was smizing her life off. She looked great. Um, what they, was your favorite look on that, on the, for the cover? The gold lame. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Me too. Me too. I just liked how happy she was in it. Yeah. And what was the dress that um, what's his face brought her? Oh my goodness, that William, William bought her that vintage yes. dress. Oh, mm-hmm. I love that. As Such well. a great use for it too, because I was kind of wondering. Well, in my personal life, I don't really have a use for a dress quite that glamorous. So I was kind of wondering what she would wear it to, and I'm so glad she was wearing it for that. Well, day. I think for something like that, you want it when you wear it. You have to wear it. You can only wear it like once. Yeah, once so she's you photographed need to save in it. it for something really good. So I think that's perfect. I actually really like the um, the white fringe dress with the gold tassel necklace. Oh, she was I sitting agree. on the chair in her that room, was and amazing. she and she photographs so well. Like you know when they um, 
that you shoot like the screenshot of her at the picture, mm -hmm. she looks like perfection. Beautiful. Yeah. Well, I love how she said, if I could, I would go white on white on white on white. <laughs> Which yeah. she kind of does. Yeah, she she kind of does. And it worked, though. And mm -hmm. the gold lame, just amazing. And I love before that, too, seeing Kendall and Marissa in the office going through pretty much everything that she has and everything that she's worn <sighs> that's been there. So How many, many rooms did she imagine? have for her closet? That's what I want to know. Well, because it looked like several. Because that was at the office too. So yeah, she's correct. Got so she has clothes stored there as well. I bet she has a storage well, unit somewhere. Oh, a hundred percent. I think that we all know the truth about this photo shoot, and it's that Skyler stole it away. Oh, he stole all the down. attention with that six-piece Gucci tux, and <laughs> who has Gucci a six-piece Gucci, Gucci tux, right? Uh huh. Yeah. What I mean. a guy. What, what 20 months old <laughs> has that? What a guy. <laughs> when I grow up, I want to be just like Sky Sky. He Good looked show. amazing. But it was so cute because I think Rachel's family has become such a, is the most important part of her life, yeah. obviously. Mm -hmm. So to see them all together having so much fun and looking super glamorous, it's exactly what you expect. And whatever they didn't use for that could totally be their Christmas card photo. <gasps> for yeah, this year. I mean, you already... Except they're Jewish, but... Oh, well, they're their Hanukkah. 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 Holiday. Holiday. Their holiday card. <laughs> Just, How insensitive, Tiana. I know. Sorry. I mean, Rachel spoke about her bat mitzvah in this episode. They just don't always <laughs> strike You're me so as ridiculous. being Jewish. Me too. Me too. I forget. I Sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. 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 About not it. sorry. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I just want to say really quickly. Earlier today, I was googling how to wear, and right away, how to wear a men's scarf came up. And I want to go back to that forum and just put in, please look at the Rachel Zoe project and look at Roger, because in almost every confessional, He's Roger's wearing a men's scarf. Man's scarf. And he wears it well. Roger, you wear it well. Yeah. He does. But I just want a little shout out that he's a fashionable dude and he can help some other men out there except who are looking for, for that. Except for how do we feel about his trucker hat look? And his black white beard. He looked like a tank top. He looked like Kate Fisher. Like, yeah, or he looked like he, Ashton Kutcher, like back in the day. He looked like wannabe he looked like Ashton Kutcher. Kutcher. He, could, yeah. he looked like Kate Fed to me. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, Ooh. who let Kate Fed in their house? I'm like, you Ooh. smell like beans <laughs> <laughs> and cigarettes. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't a fan of the trucker hat and the sweatpants. I mean, I know he was going for casual because. There's a photo shoot happening in this but home, you were on but, camera, but I'm child. sorry. If there's a yeah, if there's a camera crew following <laughs> yeah. you, like casual is not the normal casual when there's a camera crew yeah. with you. Well, I feel like he was like going for a look. You know, he, he like he thought he was like look. badass. Like this is casual. He tried. Roger, I'm not him. Yeah. 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 He tried. <laughs> he was rebelling from Rachel. You know yeah. what I thought was a little <laughs> obnoxious, to be honest with you, is that Roger's in his closet and Rachel's making fun of him. She's like, he's going to take two hours. But he's like, I don't know what shirt I should wear. And he's he wants to wear a white shirt and he's going through like 30 of them. And I think William's like, you obviously have to wear Louis Vuitton. <laughs> and it's like, how obnoxious is that? Especially because later on in the episode, he wants to, you know, make Skylar look like a man and like a t-shirt and mm -hmm. jeans. And here he is obsessing over... A white shirt. An LV white shirt. I think shirt. he yeah. just is a drama queen to get Rachel's attention, like a little kid who wants their mom to watch. Even so if it's bad attention. Yeah. yeah. So he just acts out. <laughs> hey, no press is good press. No, that was wrong. No. Never mind. <laughs> Any press is good. Yeah. yeah. Same difference. Yeah, same difference. Same difference. <laughs> I said it wrong. You're, on a, you, you're on a roll tonight. <laughs> but you guys knew what I meant, so that's all that matters. <laughs> Why? What would like you guys that. think about what I think was meant to be super dramatic about the carpet situation? <laughs> no comment. I, well, I think okay. that's what the answer is. I think, <laughs> I think if you're like um, in somebody's house, so that is kind of scary. Like, because if you break something, I don't know. I guess Rachel now would probably be like, oh, whatever. But Rachel back in the day would have probably fired somebody if they moved her rug, don't you think? It would have worked if there had been a payoff of Rachel actually noticing. Totally. But because she didn't notice, I didn't really see that it was necessary to have. I was like, really? That's what we're going to fill airtime with? Yeah. Like it kind of felt like one of those moments of the girls sitting in the office talking about how they need to remind themselves to eat yogurt. Because they left their yogurt yeah. in their bag. Yeah. <laughs> their yogurt in the bag. Felt but like one of those moments. I did like when Roger walked by and he's I just like, what are you doing? It just keeps going. Yeah. Yeah, that was great. And I feel like that's probably what Roger does. 20 hours of the day. Yeah. Just, yeah. Don't just ask ignore questions. it, keep going. When he's, when he's not acting out. <laughs> totally. Oh, <yeah. laughs> Rachel, okay, let's just talk about Roger going shopper, shopping for Skylar because I kind of love this part of the episode and someone say it, how does Rachel, Roger say, oh my God. 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 
Roger, oh this is ridiculous. <laughs> there is a gay man trapped inside of him somewhere. And he's like dying to come out. Yeah. Honey, like, <laughs> it's, 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 it's That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> I don't know if it's trapped, honey. <laughs> Oh I think he God. comes out to play probably a lot. And what do you think? Those, what do you think those girls at the um, store think when he's like, my wife dresses him? And I, I like, think oh they were God, thinking, like, oh my God. Like, <laughs> oh my God, does your wife? Is that what you penis? call your husband? Yeah. yeah, that's really sweet. <laughs> <laughs> it was but, a cute effort. It was. It was, and I agreed with him. Sky Sky does need some more play okay, appropriate clothing. I, I thought clothing. what he dressed him in was actually cute. It was. Like the other the outfits shoes, the were kind of jeans and the t-shirt, but everything else was debatable. Well, we have some news and gossip coming up later, so stay tuned, you guys, because we'll see that maybe Roger should wear the styling hat when it comes to Skylar. Oh. oh. Can't wait to find out what that's about. Mm -hmm. dun, dun, dun. Juicy scoop for you. <laughs> well, it's cute. I mean, he takes he takes Skylar home, and Rachel's super excited about the clothes. She's like, my baby's going to be the most stylish boy in town. Do you think? Wait, the clothes that Roger brings up? Yeah, I mean, I'm obviously being sarcastic. Oh, I was like, did I miss oh, that part of the episode? I missed that. <laughs> Sorry, what? Shoot. Oh, shoot. Yeah, that did her, not go the way I wanted it to go. <laughs> her face when he, he came home, though, literally looks like he just, like, said I ran over Skylar. <laughs> She's like, what? <laughs> And you just see her getting kind of mad, but not really <laughs> mad, because she's like, I appreciate the effort, but how about from now on, I dress him and you run the business? Mm -hmm. We'll just stick to yeah, things that Yeah, I don't even way. think she appreciated the effort. I mean, she likes to see him being a dad. Yeah. And being yeah. excited for his son. And, intimate. Yeah, and I mean, <laughs> let's be real. He can't go out and play in a sandbox in a six-piece uh, you know, suit mm -hmm. all the time. So he does need some clothes that are okay to get dirty. For when he's not being fashionable on set with his I mom. need to know what all the six pieces are. Is it a cummerbund? Is it a bow tie? <laughs> yeah. I think the, bow tie, the, I think the diaper counts, counts as maybe. one, too. So many oh, yeah, probably. Yeah. I think, yes. yeah, the diaper. She secretly <laughs> liked it because she, you know she loves Grateful Dead, and he looks yeah. so cute. Yeah. And I think from like her lookbook, she's going for a more casual, edgy look, so maybe she wants to pass that on to her son. <laughs> he was like rocking a fedora with that. Yes. Then it be. Not the trucker hat. Not or like the, a witch hat. And maybe if it was like <laughs> awesome. cropped pants, cropped like denim pants instead of sweatpants too. Yeah, mm -hmm. agree. Yeah. Then he, we can all style Skylar too. How about that? Perfect. Call me. <laughs> I think, speaking since we're in their house, I think one of my favorite parts of the episode is when Rachel takes Michael um, from their design team who's visiting from New York to go over their lookbook. She takes him up to her museum of a closet. Mm -hmm. And it is unbelievable. Like, room after room. Everything's in plastic bags. I don't know how she has any idea what she, she has. She has no yeah. idea what she no has. No idea. And that makes me happy. Yeah, because I mean, <laughs> it's like I a surprise every time you go in there. Yeah. Like, oh, I forgot I had this. And now like, I know why it takes her so long to get ready, because how do you choose <laughs> when you have so many options? And you're a stylist, so you're always thinking of creative ways to pair and match things. She should separate them all by, like, moods. Be like, I'm happy to, I'm pensive today. You know, and like, there's a second for that. I feel like that would help me at least. Well, I feel like so many she has them through. separated. She's like, here's all the Chanel coats, here's the long coats, here's yeah. short coats, there's the Birkin bags, the Cali bags, um, and she goes on and on. And I think like the pieces that she chooses to show are hilarious because I don't think she'd ever wear them because they're so mm -hmm. colorful and bold mm -hmm. and beautiful. Yeah. And you know, she wears white, black, and gold. I would love to have somebody put a price tag on that oh. closet and just see what everything collectively Ugh. it's got to mm. be like millions and mm. millions yeah. of dollars maybe they shouldn't because then robbers would definitely go rob them but like the bling ring, ring. Gang. yeah the <laughs> bling ring would show up just to take her clothes yeah. like don't take anything That'd else guys just episode. take the clothes yeah <laughs> everyone guys, stole my clothes think yeah oh my god oh make it do you guys think she gives things away to people because she gave joey that necklace earlier in the episode mm. i feel like she has a lot and i was wondering the same thing Kind of, it, know, once though. she's photographed in something, she doesn't really ever wear it again. So at that point, should it be but given But I think she, like, also collects or, clothes. Right. Yeah, it's like a yeah. collection. One day she'll donate it to a museum. That would be awesome. She should yeah. own That's the what Rachel's own museum yeah. of fashion. She's got everything else. Rachel, come talk to us. We got ideas, girl. Wait, wouldn't it be we'll be so cool <laughs> in Dream Drive, like, they had a little showcase for things? Kind of like at Hard Rock Cafe. <laughs> 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 exactly. Oh I my like goodness. Idea. Yeah, that's a really good idea. Yeah. See, guys, we're full of great ideas. Rachel that's just needs so to talk to we'll us. Talk. When you open Dream Dry in LA, um, come see us. They come can do, see us. Uh, we can be the bottom. Team. 
museum on museum top. Museum on yeah. top. It'd be really nice. And people could buy things there yeah. too, and she could sell her own clothing. It'll her be clothing. part of her boutique. A little boutique mm -hmm. there. Okay. Yes. One Sexual. of my other favorite parts that happened in the house, I'm not sure if I was the only one who picked up on this, but there was a short scene where Joey and William were talking in the kitchen. Oh, there's a little bit of sexual tension. And I, I picked up some flirtation there because Joey kept kind of going like this, and his he already had that V-neck on, so he was showing off his little but chest. But William, like, grabbed at his necklace. Yeah. yeah. I, w I was like, I like this. I like what's happening here. Joey was, here. like, messing and with his hair all the time. He was like, uh -huh. oh, There were some oh. flirtations Zhizhen. happening. I don't know if they were, I don't know their relationship status, but it should be with each other. Yeah. I mean, they were like eating caviar. Yeah. And interested in something else. And that's all I have to say about <laughs> that. Mm -hmm. Not Not fish. Late night after <laughs> Not fish, okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> but really, like, only William would. <laughs> oh <laughs> I'm just not <laughs> <laughs> that kind of scared me a little bit, Jake, but I'm so glad oh, that you I'm snorted. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm oh, so happy so you good. snorted. That happens. Caviar, couture, and a little peanut uh, getting uh, going over yeah, here. Oh my goodness. All right, back to sequins and menswear inspired lookbooks. Yes. Let's talk about the lookbook because this oh. is really important and I'm really excited about it. They were amazing. I wanted everything. I loved yes. the edge she was going for this mm -hmm. season, though. Like, it's it's such a good turn for her line, don't you think? It's a little rock and roll, and I feel like it's very heavily menswear inspired, which I don't... I mean, she's so boho chic half yeah. the time. Like, I don't see her going in this route, and I absolutely love it. You love menswear. It's a different... I yeah. love menswear. <laughs> and it's a I'm wearing boyfriend look. jeans right now. <laughs> <laughs> like, the whole thing was a definitive look, and I was kind of shocked that she went in that direction, but I'm glad she did, because it, mm -hmm. it kind of sets her apart, I feel like. Well, because we've talked in the past, too, about how her line doesn't necessarily have a definitive look. Like, certain pieces scream yeah. Rachel's mm -hmm. own, but I feel like this collectively went together Com really well. I was everything. like, I can see her in everything. Yeah. Everything was perfect. Can I just read off some things that I'm obsessed with? Yeah, yeah. Sure. Okay, so there was that light. Guys, you don't understand. <laughs> These are a few of my favorite, <laughs> favorite things. things. <laughs> I, I loved it. I really, really loved this lookbook. I want to get my hands on it and keep it. Um, there was that blush blazer. It was like a whole blush outfit and then she had the brown hat on that was so cute and then the white gloves. Oh, yeah. And I I'm love that she's doing a lot of gloves. gloves. Yeah. Cool. yeah. I like that. Had a lot of gloves. I want to get those too. Then the Mick Jagger esque blazer. Mm. That was very Rachel. Yes. So Rachel. Oh my goodness, I'm dying over the white blouse and the red dress and then she has the exact same look with the white blouse and it kind of has like um flowy sleeves and with a sharp white collar and then she has it over a white dress and I mean a red dress and a black dress. All paired with hats, thank you. Love hats. Um, <laughs> and then the gray blazer and pantsuit. Guys, like I'm dying over this. That, that one. So that was... sexy and menswear inspired. Oh my god, I want to buy it all. <laughs> I loved it. I loved it. It was really passion cool. for fashion. Passion for fashion. Well, you guys know I'm I am obsessed with menswear. No, and I... I just think she just made it look so sexy and it, for sure had her edge and, you know, her style on it. Mm -hmm. I love that black dress with the cutout in the back, yeah. too. Oh, the last look. Yes. Oh. And I love that they put that with the hat because it kind of made it seem more realistic to wear because you see a dress like that and you're kind of like, well, yeah. I could wear it out maybe, but putting the hat on it made me think I could wear that in the daytime, mm -hmm. too. Exactly, like yeah. how she wants everyone yeah. to be glammed you know, you up everywhere. From, yeah, you could go from day to night. I could slink into Chipotle and get a burrito. <laughs> yes. Don't mind me and my cutout. <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm going to give you back, yes, I am. <laughs> guacamole <What>? on the side. <laughs> Make that for free. <laughs> free guacamole because I'm giving you back. Oh I god. would die if I saw Rachel Zoe in Chipotle. Oh my god, I would too. And she'd be eating a burrito I don't instead of her. a bowl or I salad. <laughs> I, <don't. laughs> I just can't picture her ever eating. No. No, no, no. 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 Or like a rice cake and being like, uh, I'm full. <laughs> I'm full. Well, <laughs> I feel all. like literally the only scenes we've ever seen with them eating or from only anything to do with them was this episode with the caviar, which I don't think she had any. It's like eating air. And they were playing in Roger's imaginary, I mean, in Roger, in Skyler, <laughs> in Skyler's well, imaginary Roger's little like kitchen. Trout too. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He probably plays in it all the time. I <laughs> would, so. though. That, that is a fun little kitchen. Yeah, I loved yeah. in that <laughs> in that scene how Rachel's like I think you were definitely the kid who was playing with Barbies. You don't have to lie. So like you I know he tried to say he was ripping their heads off. No, you weren't. You were no. you were braiding their hair, Roger. And, and Jason, what did you say you did with your sister's Barbie? I used to cut their hair, give them little haircuts. 
my sister would just cry, but I don't know. They, their hair is too long. Nappy headed hoes. <laughs> <laughs> gotta, gotta get rid of that. <laughs> Oh my goodness, you're so bad. Who are you? I don't know. <laughs> Give him like a little Miley Cyrus cut? Yeah. Yeah, you're ahead of your time. Ahead Thank of you. your time. Thank you. <laughs> Can we all just put out a little memo to Rachel that we think you look the sexiest in your PJs in the morning yes. with that like big, big curly hair. hair? Bedhead works mm -hmm. on her. She mm. looks And she always says it looks bad, but mm. it looks so good. I think she just wants Roger to be like, you're the most beautiful woman I've ever seen in my life. That's and then she kind of keeps puffing it up because higher you, and like, <laughs> yes. Do you kind of see her as that girl on Bridesmaids who like goes to the bathroom in the morning and primps it up, puts on makeup, then wakes up like, oh, oh, I look like shit right now, sorry. <laughs> Definitely. I think she probably does do that, but it's okay, it works for her. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Whatever she's works. She's rocking it. Okay, let's talk about really quickly what were your favorite parts of the season because it's over oh and God. we don't know if it's going to be back for more and I'm kind of I feel like they left it as open it could ended. Yeah, it could be open ended, but I think it kind of looked like a series finale. What do you guys think? I feel like it was a little bit of a closure because she was mm -hmm. like, I don't want to be known as a personality. I want to be known yes. as a designer and yep. a stylist. So I think that this will be the last season. Yeah. I think that the reality show kind of stops her, or at least she might think that it stops her from being taken seriously as a designer because there's not a lot of designers out there that you know everything about their life story because they're on TV. Every well, and day. I think mm -hmm. there's kind of a difference between a designer and a celebrity designer. Yeah. And yes. I think no. that does... She wants to be like a Michael Kors and like on this next level and not necessarily like a Lauren Conrad or a Jessica Simpson. Right. She wants to be a credible like fashion yeah. designer. I think, I think someone she could look up to is Victoria Beckham mm -hmm. from being a celebrity yeah. who, who has an amazing fashion line. Yeah. Well, she credits um, Diane von Furstenberg for saying, you know, she gave me the biggest compliment that I've ever had. And it's pretty much saying like, you know, you've made it when you've become the woman who you wanted to become. Mm -hmm. She's like, I don't know, am I? Like, who, is this yeah. what I wanted? But you could tell she, I mean, she's I probably doing she is, every, though. yeah, she's and this, she for sure the is. best what, self, of herself that she's ever been. She is, and I loved how many flashbacks they had to the past during this episode, which also made it kind of feel like, this is it, guys, this is it, because they went back to six years ahead of time talking to Michael Kors, talking to Diane, like everything, um, that they've started with. Even her and Roger were reflecting on, you know, where they started from with having their first garage, you know, with full of clothes and getting her first studio and everything. And it was so cute because I was like, wow, they've grown up so much. They were such, they were just young babies. kids back then. They were just babies back Favorite then. Favorite flashback of the episode is when she's oh. like rocking Skylar and telling the story and like the little boy who has all these designer clothes. <laughs> there once was a little prince and he loves to wear beautiful clothes all the time. He loves Ralph Lauren. He loves Stella McCartney. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. And I wished he was a girl. <laughs> that he's the most beautiful little boy in the world. Which means that she has to have another baby so that she can try Who's to have a girl. Girl. Who's gonna take all those clothes when she's yeah? Gone. Well, you guys don't know this, but she tweeted earlier today that she's gonna give them all to me. Oh, oh. so thank you so much. Was that a direct I, message? Because I didn't see that on my feed. <laughs> no, no. I'm. I'd like to thank Bravo. <laughs> no, I don't know. She needs to have a little girl, or it's gonna be in her hard rock, Rachel. Yeah. So. Amazing. And she needs a little girl so that she can do what every other celebrity mom does and create a line inspired by her little girl. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Heidi. Can you Clem. imagine little girl clothes done by Rachel Zoe? Mage. I I don't have any kids or will I have any in the near future, but I would go buy a bunch of baby clothes from that line. Well, that's not weird at all. <laughs> I, I, mean, I would buy it now and save yeah, it. Yeah, save yeah. it. And then it's vintage by the time I made my kids a 20-month-year-old <laughs> oh, wearing Rachel vintage Zell. Rachel Zoe. <laughs> I think Holla. we all have to say, mm -hmm. at least like once in this episode, everyone said, I kind of want to have a baby now. Yeah. <laughs> They're My a fashion ovaries. accessory. <laughs> <laughs> They're moving they're, right now. They're churning. <laughs> <laughs> I think since we're getting on Little Girl Talk, we should get into predictions, which I guess we predicted. Yeah. Babies. And now, series finale. After Buzz TV. Predictions. predictions. What if that was the last episode oh we'll watch of Rachel Zoe Project ever? ever. Don't say that. <laughs> Steven, Steven, that is rude. Unbelievable. No. Apologize. I mean... I don't know if it's going to... Okay, this is my theory. Either it's for sure done because she wants to be taken seriously as a designer and wants to get on with her life, and I'm sure, like, 
she has a kid running around, you know what I mean? Yeah. She doesn't necessarily want cameras there. Or she has this new sitcom coming on NBC and she wants more press and like people to see this other take on her life too. And it's gonna go on for one more season. See, I think though, if she doesn't want to be in it, she could kind of take a step back and they could do it sort of like Vanderpump Rules, mm -hmm. where focus on the people in the office and Rachel can come in and like mediate the fights. That's what I was and thinking. And still show too. her fashion. And then she's still on TV and we still get to see her, but maybe just approach the show differently. Or yeah, she live with that. Yeah. yeah. Or she takes a break from the show and comes back in a season or two with a brand new revamping of the mm. show. They're based out of New York now and they're focusing all their in <laughs> that's my prediction they will be based in New York at this point and they'll have their second child is already there and it's the family run business the Rachel Zoe but it's not on their personal life it's just the business the clothes the fashion and what we what's Rachel's little girl named as well <laughs> um Tiana. i don't know tiana it sounds good. <laughs> that way she's a princess already Disney has a princess. Her name's Princess Tiana, and she's yes. black. Oh. <laughs> First African-American princess. Her name was Tiana. Hells, yeah, Check. I was all up on that. <laughs> it's true, <lesson. laughs> But yeah, maybe her name would be something like, I don't know, something Zara or something like weird. kind of like that. Weirdish like that, I could see. I like Zara. Yeah. Mm. So Jake, what do you think? I th I'm kind of glad this show has kind of had its mm -hmm. closure. I feel like it's... It's it was, time. A, good, it it's was time. a good way to well, yeah. wrap I think it up. We have seen Rachel transform, so I feel yeah. like it's like put to rest. Like I feel good. We got the it, beginning, yeah. middle, and end. I mean, I'd like it to continue, but I feel like it, like everything's resolved at this point. Mm -hmm. I totally agree with you. They come back on air when Sky Sky is about fourteen. 14 drug problem. No, not. I'm not gonna give the kid that. I'm just saying 14, and then the show's about him because he's gonna be a hottie. And it's gonna be called 14 and Fabulous. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be like it's gonna be like The Hills, except with celebrity children. True instead. life. My mom wants me to be gay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you can just hear Stephen laughing in the booth. <laughs> My prediction is that Skylar's gonna be a lady killer. Oh. With those blue eyes and curly brown hair. Slash moon. <laughs> he's gonna. You guys have. You guys are gonna be a lady be one way. I know. Yeah. yeah. How Join weird would that be if? I mean, I grew up to be like this awesome cougar, and me and Sky Sky. Oh like, my god, that that's weird? disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna cut you Tiana. off right now yeah. no, and I'm, tell I'm, everybody I'm, to go on iTunes. You're muted, Tiana. Thank oh, yeah. you. Thank you. <laughs> and <laughs> search <laughs> after Buzz <laughs> TV. <laughs> And rate and subscribe. Give us five stars. It's our last last episode. So put us back in the top ten, please and thank you. And don't listen to Tiana because that's disgusting. It didn't come out how disgusting. It, it didn't come out how I meant. To, I meant to say just like people this age. You said you wanted to date a baby. I didn't, I didn't okay. mean specifically you me. You. I know. No. Fine. Whatever. I said it this. wrong. I'm sorry. I came off looking like a pedophile. I did not mean it. I don't want to date Sky Sky. Enough with this dirty baby talk. <laughs> Please excuse us. Let's go on to news and gossip. After Buzz TV News. <laughs> okay. Do you have those pictures, Stephen? So yeah, that's a no. Splash oh. News posted pictures of Rachel and Skylar. They were in West Hollywood, and. <laughs> it looks like, Wait, listen. Ra I it was a Rachel, girl. Like, sorry. It looks Rachel like a girl took him dress. to Color Me Minecrafts in West Hollywood. Oh, I love Aww. Hollywood. And in the caption on Splash News, they said Rachel Zoe was spotted taking her daughter Skylar to do, <laughs> to do some crap. Oh no. She looks like Sir Cruz. Her yes. He looks like Sir Cruz. Guys, this is bad. She and this is, is why I said maybe yeah. Roger needs to start dressing Skylar. And the last oh sentence God. is we can't make, make this, this stuff up. up. Yes, you can because it's not her daughter. Just did. How <laughs> just unbelievable did. Well, is, is that? Is her hair is, oh my God. Is his hair is his hair pulled back? She is, a pony. she is working that pony down. <laughs> I mean he looks so cute, but he's wearing it. It looks like a dress too. With the apron. Gladiator yeah, sandals. the apron looked like a dress. He even has. Or it looks like a little romper. Yeah. Yeah. Lesbian sandals. Lesbian sandals. Oh my god. But so it's yeah. also a common thing, I think. That no, that's no, it's not, not. not common. <laughs> Babies, when you look at a baby, sometimes you do go, "Oh, what a cute little girl." And they're like, "Oh, it's actually a boy." Okay, but yeah, he's but not like an infant. Girls' clothes. He he's not, a pretty big boy. I mean, I do that sometimes. Like I'm like, "Oh, your baby's so cute," because I don't want to say, "Oh, your little girl's so yeah. cute," because yeah. you know sometimes you can't tell. 
he's he's almost a grown man. The more and the more <laughs> important thing is just that this is a celebrity. You should having like your archives. Rachel Zoe, child, son, Skylar, it should be there. Do you think that so, they did this on purpose? Like it wasn't an accident that they captioned this? They just they thought were, it was so hilarious? They, they, they gave him a little bit of a read with that, like, yeah. Yeah. Mm, hit the girl. Yeah. yeah. That, that poor kid. I would have said something like, Amish man steals Rachel's son. <laughs> <laughs> <Child. laughs> oh. oh my god. Yes. Oh. Poor thing. Yeah. No, it's Surrey Cruz. Surrey right? Cruz. Cruz. Yeah. I think I've seen a picture of her like that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Amish man steal Surrey Cruz. Yes. <laughs> that's that's awful, but because that hilarious. kid's not gonna have enough issues already. No. All right. Well, they're both beautiful and fabulous. Yes, they are. Do you guys have any other news and gossip? No. No. <laughs> not, that I'm, not that I'm willing to tell you. <laughs> oh. No. Read. Read. I'm just kidding. Well, you guys, that's it. That's oh my God. our season finale of the Rachel Zoe Project. I hope you had so much fun with us. We had so much fun with you. I'm your host, Christina Zias. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Miss Zias. I'm Jake Dupree. You can find me on Twitter at Jake underscore Dupree and on Insta Slams at Jake Dupree. And I is Tiana Hobson. <laughs> and yeah. you can find me on the Twitters and the Instagrams <laughs> at at Tweety22. And also at all pedophile all the websites yeah. on the internet. Yes. <laughs> and I'm Jason Eichler. Oh, yes. Move your mouth he talks for you. And you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at J Eichler. Nope, Jason Eichler. At Jason Eichler. And I am really cool with this hairstyle. <laughs> okay. And officially, Jason is the worst lip syncer ever. I know. It's like a Japanese movie or something. Wait, but I didn't know it was coming out of his mouth. I think I'd be better. <laughs> uh... <laughs> right. we're done. We're done. We're done. <laughs> Please stay tuned for the rest of our Since You've Been Gone. Oh, yeah. Concert here at After Buzz. <clears throat> Steven? Since what? You've Been Gone. One more time for the finale. Okay, give me give me a second. Okay. Please, all of you listening, sing along with us. This goes out to my girl Kelly. Happy Maybe. birthday. Just give me a second. Okay. I'm gonna oh. load it up. Let's talk about. Oh, you're gonna load it up. <laughs> oh my, oh my god. god. You know what? <laughs> Just go date a 20 year old when you're 60. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this I is say that. so beyond I know. late night at After Buzz. <laughs> I hope they... there's someone watching out there. <laughs> If you're Please. watching, tweet us right now. There's tweet no one me. watching. Yeah. Don't know yourselves. Yeah. Whoa! Whoa I'm stupid. kidding. <laughs> we. All right. So since you've been here, gone. Since you've been here, <laughs> since been you gone. <laughs> since you've been Blasphemous. Here. I swear you're queer. Here, this what? Will, this, oh, one, this might be better. <laughs> We'll do no. the pitch perfect version. <laughs> no. I love you, Gia. It's horrible. <laughs> Wait, Why would we do that? Our lips are sealed. There's Stephen. They're taking a really long time. Yeah, I know. It has ads. There you uh, go. Not working. Are we are we really doing the pitch perfect version? Why not? Uh, I feel really bad about this. Me too. <laughs> I love it. I hate I it. I don't <laughs> care. Uh, we'll do the regular version. Sorry. Okay. Guys. You guys. Are um, just crazy. Thanks Side everybody eye. for watching our show. Yes. It's really fun. Please tweet us your favorite parts of the season, the favorite parts <laughs> of our show, the mo the best inappropriate comments you've heard here. This whole. And I kind of feel like I, I kind of hope that I win that category. You for sure win it. Sure. What were you most offended by? Jason's hair. <gasps> oh. Oh, read. <laughs> <laughs> no. Since you've been gone, get it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Since, Since you've been, been gone. gone. <laughs> All right. And we're going to wrap this up, guys. Hear me say, it's how I picture me with you. That's all you'd ever hear me say But since you've been gone From Bing.com, executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. It was everything. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principal.